Hey guys, it's Galaxy Gorilla coming at you with a new episode of Songs of Six. I know it's been a little bit since I've released a video on this. I was a little bit busy last week, and I'm sorry about that. But I have been playing this save a little bit on my own, and this is kind of where we're at right now. We've got about 300 people. Uh, loyalty's pretty high. We're doing pretty okay. We've even got a couple nobles. Uh, as of right now, we've got like our housing districts. We still have room for more people, and I do plan on taking in more and more. Um, I do have guard posts and stuff set up. Uh, we've got a nice stage here. Overall, like the entertainment district's doing pretty well for itself. We've got a pretty decently large woodcutter, but what I got lucky with, and one of my biggest exports right now is we started right next to a pretty large mining deposit. So I've been, you know, going hard on getting ore and metal. Because, like, over here, we've been making swords, we've been making weapons, and most importantly, we've been making tools. Uh, I have figured out that tools are honestly, like, really, really cool. Like, they really make this game a lot easier. And another thing I'm trying to do is uh, I'm trying to be a little bit more on, like, in touch with, like, the, my, like, the military and stuff. So I have kind of peeled away, like, how many people, like, because I know, like, the game tries to, like, conscript everybody to turn them all into soldiers. I think it would be better to have a more trained squadron with better gear and stuff to combat whatever we might face. So at this point in time, we have a squad of 20 who, who train constantly. They've got, like, good weapons and armor. And, yeah. Honestly, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Uh, we do actually have a prison right now. I did go and build some... Uh, where, where is the scaffolding? Yeah, I built some scaffolding down here. Uh, I believe at this point, when it comes to like punishing things, like flashing and vandalism, you just serve out your prison sentence. But I feel like if you murder somebody, you just get sent to scaffolding. That's just kind of... That's it. Um. Yeah, honestly... As of right now, our th our two biggest, largest amounts of, like, food productions is I've got, like, these huge Globodin ranches, and uh, we've got, like, a turbo fishing farm. If I bump open this right here, uh, where is it? Where's, where's the fish button? Am I blind? Uh, I am blind. Uh, this is actually, like, bluish fish. Like, this is, like, really good leveled fish. Like, this dock here alone can handle 71 people in it, and it's already making, like, a ton of food. We're feeling pretty good right now. Uh, our food reserves are, like, way above capacity, so I don't really need to worry about that too much. All I'm going to really focus on is just getting more people in. But now, here's a question I'm having a little trouble with. Uh, I, I have a lot of technology right now. I, I'm actually spending a pretty decent amount of it. We've got, you know, we've got this for, you know, refining wood into our coal. We've got metal able to smell our ore and stuff. Uh, I did put up a couple points into the Amevian technology from the mod, and I've also put, like, I don't know if I can do anything with this right now. I want to be able to do something with it, but I feel like the water is a little too far away, and I'll get into that a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, we've got, sa we've got work safety. We got fishing, a little bit of fishing here. We got paved roads. I've been going into spoilage and stuff, too, because I know that's usually pretty important. Uh, I'm not crazy worried about food right now, so I don't feel like I have to invest in those technologies. The biggest thing that I'm not too, too sure about right now is, like, what do, what do I spend this on? Like, I've got, like, weapons and stuff like this here. Uh, we've got improved laboratories. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe doing a little bit of stone cutting, but I don't want to spread my people too thin. I'm not really too worried about, like, clothes or anything like that. But, um, do you think, I, do you think it would be better to, you know, f upgrade my, uh, you know, like my ore mining, make that a little bit better so we can get more like ore out of it? Or, I mean, I could also go up here and get the upgrades for my charcoaler and my smelter. Maybe make that a little bit easier for us. Cause I mean, honestly, that might, that might be a smart idea. Cause what is this right here? This is just for ore and this is just for charcoaling. I think, yeah, let's, this is like, what it's, is it? So this one's 500. And this one is 200. Okay, I think that's I think that's a decent expenditure. But like with this all here, like let me know what you guys think I should do with it. I th there's definitely some options and stuff. I'm just not 100 percent sure. All right. Um, with that now in play, let's head over to here and let's actually let's upgrade. Can I upgrade these? Okay, this requires clay and more metal. Um, I could buy the clay. 
I would probably just buy the clay. And then what about like this? What does this require? This just requires metal. Okay, let's uh, let's save up some metal and let's get to it. All right, so as of right now, my biggest problem is this. It's a little bit of happiness. We're, we're pretty happy right now, but the thing that we're not happy about is we're actually a little far away from fresh water and stuff, and that's kind of my fault. Because uh, if you... I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to keep hitting the escape like that, but um, if you look out over here, uh, this is this right here. This is fresh water. This is all fresh water right here. Uh, we're we're pretty we're pretty far away from fresh water, and that's mostly because I wanted to be closer to the metal because I know tools are like really good. That's kind of you know on me. So I'm gonna have to figure out like a way to remedy that because water pumps is like that's not the play. That's too much, and I know they're not gonna be cool with like salt water and stuff. So let me know down in the comments below if you guys have like a decent solution for my problem. I'd, I'd love to hear about it. Um, at this point, we just need to expand. We need more people and then just to give them more jobs and stuff. As of right now, we're netting coal, which is good. Uh, we're losing a lot of wood, but we've got so much wood that I'm not super worried about it. We're netting furniture. Uh, we're good. We're still pretty good on tools. See, like, one of the things I'd like to do right now is I'd like to pump some tool. I already pumped tools into this. Never mind. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I did or not. How we doing, prisoners? You guys, you guys, uh, you guys doing okay? Yeah, and then you lose people because, uh, they get imprisoned. And then it technically counts as them, like, being out of the workforce, which, I mean, makes sense. Uh, how we doing with law as of right now? Yeah, it's just, like, theft and, like, flashings are, like, the biggest thing we gotta deal with right now. Oh, wow, yeah. It seems like people are thieving quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, realistically, though, like, uh, if you, like, if you commit murder, I'm just gonna, you know, you're gonna get hung. That's kind of, like, the plan there. But let's see if we can expand a little bit bigger. Go for, like, 12, 12 people. Yeah, no, honestly, I feel like my people would be, like, way, way happier if we were, like, right next to the water. But, unfortunately, like, we're just, that's not the case. I would probably have to, like, construct, like, roads or something, like, all the way down and... That sounds like a nightmare, honestly. Dude, like, what, what, what is going on? Why, what? Flashing, vandalism. Why, like, why, why are you guys doing this? Listen, like, just get like your lizard girlfriend and stop flashing people. You know what I mean? All right. Um, how are we doing? Do we have we have the metal for this now? So let's actually let's go see if we can go talk to one of our our neighbors. I, I'm pretty decently happy with this guy here. Uh, he, me and him have been pretty nice to each other. We've been trading and stuff. Would you want to do trading? That would be a little expensive. Uh, I'll leave it. I'll leave that alone for now. Uh, I would like. How much was it? I think it was a hundred and twenty-five clay is a lot but i think that's pretty easy for us to like go through um what do i feel like giving i probably just give him some tools honestly we've got such an abundance of it i'm not like too like crazy worried about it maybe like 100 tools and then give him some of these pots i'm not using i don't even remember where i got these from honestly no i don't want to give you too much uh i think yeah i think that's fine all right cool we're going to wait for that clay to come in, and then we can click the upgrade button, and then we can just beef up our charcoaler, and then kind of figure out... I, I believe it's going to start eating more wood, but I might be able to just employ less people on it, which would be nice. Uh, let's quickly go over to here and allocate like a couple chests, or just a chest to clay so it can get dropped off into there. Um, Realistically... How how what uh, how quickly are we eating through our wood right now? We're eating through our wood pretty damn fast. So let's see if we can employ more people on that because it seems like we're actually kind of reaching a junction where we are eating through our wood a little too quickly. And it seems like I did not buy enough clay because our my people are using it. Okay, uh, that's a little misstep on my part. I'll have to fix that when I can. Okay, yeah, we're, we're fine on tools. Um, we're making, what, 184? We're still net losing, so we need more people on this. Let's go up to 30 and see how that's going. It's going to take us up to 218. Are we netting wood? 
Um... Oh, that's a little annoying. A flight of murderous unknown birds has descended upon your city. Luckily, these are too small to hunt your subjects, preferring this target that's stealing from your warehouse. You're worried ambered with the avians until dawn on them that are far more ignorable when they are not being expelled at speed from above onto the heads of your subjects. Okay. Alright, that's going to tank our health a little bit. Hopefully nobody gets, like, super sick from that. Uh, I assume more and more people are going to prison. Um, I don't feel like you hang somebody for, like, theft or vandalism. Let me think about this. I don't really want to exile them. And I don't really want to enslave them either. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Get another person back in here. Okay, so we need a little more clay. And we're doing a little bit better with wood. So let's go make that trade real quick. Hey, buddy, how you doing? You want to give me some more clay? Give me like... Give me like 100. Yeah, like 100 clay. I think that would be a, a fine. A, I don't think they'll eat through it that fast. Alright. Um. And then what do I want to give you in return? I can't give you tools. I got a lot of furniture right now. I think I could probably do that. How, much, are, you, how are you happy with like 100? Okay, that's like way too much. Let's do like 50. And then kind of slowly pump it from there. Okay. You'll accept that barter. Alright, cool. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade that, because I kind of want to see where it's going to take us, and then we can move on from there. Uh, our law is pretty good right now. We're, we're catching people, because I did set up a pretty decent amount of guard posts and stuff, just to make sure, you know, people aren't, like, committing crimes and stuff. We do have a little janitor over here that's pretty nice. Oh. Um, let me think. Hmm, what do I need to be focusing on right now? That's my biggest question. How's the grave doing? It's doing okay. We could probably make this a little bit nicer, <laughs> to be honest, but I'll figure that out later. Uh, we are not full on people in the laboratory just yet. Not too worried about upgrading it either. Okay, we got the clay. Let's Let's upgrade this. Okay, that is like quintupled our production, so we are making way too much now. So I can start I think like 15. About 15 people on this would be fine. Because I mean I don't need that much. Uh, can I go down to like 12? Is 12 okay? Okay, 12 is not netting us enough, so let's go up to 13... I'm trying to be, like, more precise with this game as I go to play. I, I, you know what? Let's just leave it at 15. We can make, like, a little bit more, because that'll we can come down here and put some more people on wood. Yeah, we're losing 55 now. Let's um push that up to here and see how much that takes us to. Yeah, I think we can handle losing. Okay, no, yeah, we're, all right, we're, not, we're not gaining now. Okay, nice. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right. So that's that that is that stabilized. Now, yeah, like I said, um I'm trying to figure out like what my next step is. We're we're doing pretty good with like law. We've got the guard posts and stuff. I'm trying to keep everybody happy. I think it would be a lot easier if we were closer to fresh water, but I was a little silly and a little too focused on metal and it's kind of I feel like it's screwing me over a little bit. Did somebody go to prison again? What happened this time? Or did somebody die? Oh, somebody died. Okay. That's fine. Um, I mean, if I really wanted to, I guess I could just try to, like, ramp up metal production a little bit. Like, go over here and... Can I... How many more people can I put on here? Um... I'm not worried about a drought. We don't have crops. Can I put another... I can put two more people onto this, which is nice. That's going to take us up to 43. So let's head down over here to the smelter. And... I think Pip, like me, I think like about like two more people on here. All right, we're losing a little bit of coal. I'm not super worried about that. How are we doing on metal? 
Okay, actually, we're, we're still making quite a bit of metal, which is pretty nice. Alright, I'm going to leave this be for now. And uh, we could set up another Globodin pasture, but we're making we're making so much food, dude. It's like it's actually like really nice how much food we're making. Um, I think another nice thing to do for the people would just be like make like benches and stuff. We're doing pretty good with like the lighting. People are pretty happy with that. Here you go, everybody. You can have some nice benches, some benches to sit on. I know you love to sit put like a couple benches in every housing district so everybody's kind of got like a place to sit if you want to stop and take a seat uh, we are kind of getting to the point where, where uh, we are spending quite a lot of uh, our stone so I'm gonna have to find another way to start getting to that and I think like the it's just gonna be carving the mountain up and uh, using it as like a resource but I think overall I'm pretty happy with how this is going so far. I think my society is pretty good. Uh, how many people are in the prison right now? We have 12 people, and it's just all vandalism and flashing. You know what? Yeah, you guys just serve out your sentence. You'll be fine. Because, I mean, hey, we're getting to the point where everybody's pretty happy. Um, Hmm... Educate our diplomats in the art of charisma, making them more efficient on assignments. No, I'm not, like, worried about that. Uh, I could go for fortifications and stuff and start, like, building, like, walls and try to, like, you know, be a little bit more protected. I think that would be pretty smart. Unfortunately, the road the Amevians like to walk on is locked behind uh, this one right here, the Crystal Water. And I don't think they really like any of these ones in here. I could actually check real quick. I, I don't think so, but maybe... Uh, bugs love the fungus highway and all the fungus stuff. Dark, they like dark plaza too. Humans like normal plaza. Amevians like it a little bit. Dwarves and Cantor are huge on this one. Uh, Amevians love crystal water. They're kind of okay with dirt roads, but not like really. Elves and pigs love cobblestone road. And they really like Forest Plaza, and then there's the paved highways and stuff. Okay, it seems like, uh, Amevians are also okay with, like, bricked roads. But, like, nobody really likes bricked roads outside of them, which I think is a little weird. I don't know, I feel like some of the preferences and stuff are kind of strange in this game. Ah, oh, man, yeah, we're gonna have to figure out, like, the next big project to try to, you know, make the city better and better. I could try to expand the fighting force and make, like, you know, a second battalion in case, you know, that sort of situation goes bad. I don't know how good Amevians are at archery, so maybe having, like, an archer range to back up the melee fighters might be a good job. Make fighting a little easier for us, but I don't know. See, that's, like, okay, that's kind of where I get stuck with this game. I really do like it. I have a lot of fun with it. But I ended up kind of getting stuck and not really sure where to go once I hit, like, a certain point. Yeah, I think we can put, like, a thousand points into that. Yeah, I think that's fine. Try to, like, start spending our stuff, making more metal tools and stuff. Yeah, alright, I'm pretty proud of this. I do hope you guys enjoy the, you know, the, the Songs of Six content. I do like making it a lot, and I'm gonna keep trying to get better and better at this game. Uh, I think what I might do is, uh, I might start up another playthrough. Like, this will be, like, the main, like, thing we touch upon, but I'm also kind of interested in playing in humans and elves, too. I know making uh, multi-cultured, I guess, uh, kingdoms can be a little tricky, but uh, I'm definitely interested in trying it out. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll, you know, try to make that better and better for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Galaxy Gorilla out. Oh, 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 oh.